Okay, I bought a rake off of Amazon, a true temper. It's a D Thatcher rake. So see here it gets all the the gunk out of your yard. The stuff that's down deep down in the grass. A little bit is okay, but if you get too much it, it smothers the grass. So true temper thatching rake. Thatching rake. Remove thatch without damaging healthy roots. 15 year warranty, wood handle. So, oh, this is just a. Okay. So, that must be a model. 291 4000. 291 4000. Oh, it's still distributed by Ames. The Camp Hill PA. Let's see, where's it made? Doesn't say where it's made. Okay, so, oh. Works for thatching, fertilizing, reseeding, cultivating. Ames, uh, Camp LPA, they still aren't saying where it's made. Okay, so how to use. Rake is self-cleaning. A pull and it's full. A push and it's clean. Used like a carpet sweeper. Save time, rakes clean and easy to use. Thatch removal. To remove work across lawn with short push-pull strokes. Straight teeth down, gathering thatch in a long row. Do this in the spring and fall. Fertilizing needle point knives cut a series of shallow grooves aerating soil and giving fertilizer quick penetration. Reseeding scarifying bare spots with knife edges spread seeds Sprinkle topsoil, fertilize, tamp lightly, and then water. Cultivating flared tines, break crusted soil with pulverized lumps, use with back and forth motion to work over several times to prepare finely pulverized seed beds. Okay, so See what it looks like here. It's all taped up. Okay, so what they were saying there is one side straight and the other side a little crooked. Flared times break crusted soil. So these are the flares. Okay so this area here I did this with a normal rake to see if I could do it with a normal rake and uh, just tore it up. It's adjustable. Uh, it looks like it's missing a, a screw though. So you can adjust this to the angle that you want. Okay so so, and then this part glides along the dirt, and then this stuff pulls the stuff off the ground. So, 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 so like this. 
and I guess it's not supposed to tear the grass up, but it looks like it's getting some of the fresh grass here. Or, or is that just wild stuff that's coming up? We got a lot of uh, crabgrass and stuff in here and vines. You'll get those vines too. It's supposed to get rid of a lot of that dead stuff that's Here. <laughs> here, come here. Here, it looks like blade. It's supposed to take yeah. the... Uh, what is it? Do you cut the grass? It's supposed to take uh, up all the dead stuff way underneath. Well, okay. Don't, don't stick it in the ground. This rides along the dirt. Okay. And then this just kind of picks up all the brown stuff down on the uh, ground. What happens is... Yeah, did you read like the benefits of doing it? Yeah, all the grass clippings and leaves and things like that fall on the ground. And most of the time, that's okay. You want a little bit of that. But when yeah. it gets too thick, like, it, like an inch over. thick, okay. it smothers the grass. And it starts dying. Right, the water can't get down there, the fertilizer can't get down to it. Hmm. <laughs> so that's with the straight edge. See how some of these are straight? This side's straight. Hmm. And then this side's crooked. I guess they're saying use that side to work in your garden but I don't see why it would be that much of a difference look it says it's a pull and it's pull and a push and it's clean so I guess it's supposed to push it on the ground <laughs> yeah you don't even have to don't. lift it up yeah it says break itself cleaning a pull and it's full and a push and it's clean Use like a carpet sweeper. Saves time, breaks clean, and it's easy to use. You even have to pick it up. You just pull it and push it, it says. Thatch removal, thatch removal. To remove, work across the lawn with short push-pull strokes. Straight teeth down, gathering thatch in a long row. Do this in the spring, fall, fertilizing. Oh, in the spring and fall. Fertilizing is when you use the needle point knives, cut a series of shallow grooves aerating soil and giving fertilizer quick penetration and mm. you can also use it for reseeding scarify mm. bare root ugh, scar <laughs> bare <laughs> spots with knife edges spread seeds sprinkle topsoil fertilize tamp lightly and then water mm. cultivating flared tins break crusted soil and pulverized lumps Use with back and forth motion and work over several times to prepare finely pulverized seed beds. Hmm. So these are the flared tins here. Yeah. And, and then it's it, it's got these screws here where you can adjust you it. You get everybody wet and we'll take it away. Where you can adjust it to the angle that you like. See? <coughs> and there's a screw missing. Yeah, and bolt. He's got to go hunt one up, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't in the box. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you. So watch that lady. She's crazy. Watch her. Watch her right here. I embarrass myself. It's supposed to break out some of the... The Carry your grass out of your lawn! <laughs> Mommy! Freaking grass! Mom! Just tear it the fuck out, Mia! And then new grass will grow! <laughs> what a yeah. great invention! That's what I was telling her. Uh, most of the videos I watch, it does tear up the grass. Oh, yeah. It does re look really bad. 
turns brown. But after, I don't know, a few weeks or a few months, it turns real green because you get all the stuff out of the grass. Okay. So it's normal that it looks really Like, this bad. isn't my fault. It's Uncle Jimmy's. <laughs> <laughs> he told me to do it. Now we got a bare spot. No. <laughs> yeah. All right. So technically, it says pull and then push. And it works, just like Classic, the direction stand it back. All right, so. Classic, stand it back. <laughs> She's over there playing with that kitten. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. All right, so I guess it does work. And then you could probably go in the pile and push. Okay, yeah. cool. Or just get the the regular lawn rake and take the stuff off all the right. top. I'm like, <laughs> ripping all the grass up. Yeah, I think because ours is, has never been done that it's really yeah. thick. With it because it's just tearing up the door. And you jump in here. Go ahead. I jumped in a pail of bear. I guess it's nice and soft. I don't think we have any prickers in our yard. <laughs> Hmm? Oh, that's that little gray one hanging around. See it right by the, right by her garden. Oh my goodness! Hi. <laughs> <laughs>